Hi, I'm Matt Myers with Fairfax County Stormwater Planning Division within the Department of Public Works and Environmental Services. Today we're here in Dead Run at the beginning of where the stream starts and it's important for us because the health of this portion of the stream affects everything downstream. So if we can manage stormwater here at the headwaters, we can ultimately improve the local stream conditions as well as the receiving streams downstream, whether it's the rest of De Dead Run that goes right through the heart of downtown McLean, Virginia, or the Potomac River, ultimately the Chesapeake Bay. The project we're, we're gonna be working on here on the Dominican Retreat is stream restoration using what's called natural channel design. The idea is to take care of these older problems of eroded stream banks that are caused from the runoff from upstream, restore the stream by lifting the, the stream, reconnecting it to its floodplain, and ultimately creating habitat within the stream itself. This is a great example where dead run, the stream banks of dead run are eroding away. That sediment comes off the banks and is deposited into the stream bed burying the habitat where the critters live, whether it's the aquatic insects that ultimately the fish and other things eat. Uh, so when we lose that habitat, usually these critters live on the bottoms of rocks. And in a healthy stream, when you pull up a rock, you would see all kinds of different critters in here, whether it's uh, caddis flies, stone flies, uh, but we don't see those in this stream because of the flashiness and the energy of the flow and a lot of rocks are getting moved during a storm event and they get buried. Uh, so only really tolerant species end up surviving in a stream like this. So one of our goals of our stream restoration projects is to recreate natural habitat within the stream. Having both pools, riffles, and runs have different diversity, having natural structure like logs and places where leaf packs gets stuck in the stream and, and that's food source for the critters. So we build that back in, we stabilize the stream banks so there's no more erosion, and then to have a natural, me more meandering stream with those different habitat features. This Dead Run Stream Restoration Project's unique in the sense that it's in the heart of McLean Central Park. And Central Park is a community hub between downtown McLean, a commercial area, and the adjacent residential communities. So it's heavily used from everything from walking trails to frisbee golf, as well as a, a pathway to and from the residents to the commercial area, as well as the library and McLean Community Center. The community has ownership in this park, and they really care about what happens in the long-term uh, health of the park. So we've been working with them uh, throughout the design projects. So our designs go through an iterative phase, starting from initial concept where we have to look at all type of things from access, where we have to go around utilities, as well as what size of the channel is gonna be and the alignment. And one of the things we do early on is take a survey of trees, an inventory of trees, because it's not just stream restoration, we look at riparian corridor restoration. And we wanna look at the overall health of the adjacent floodplain, as well as the in-stream water quality and health. So we work closely with the community and we do stream walks. In McLean, there's a lot of groups, the McLean Citizen Association with their environmental committee, the McLean Tree Foundation. Uh, so there's representatives from those key uh, associations as well as the residents. And we take stream walks and we point out trees that are of our interest. One of them is this big oak tree that's behind us. It's kind of unique within this Stream Valley Park. Most of the trees are poplar trees, are maples. In some cases though, we have trees that are at risk. And you'll see throughout this stream uh, corridor, trees are just hanging on because they've been undermined. Soil's been eroded away from their roots. And it's almost like a loose tooth. Uh, the next storm might take that tree down. We've gone through this iterative design process. When we did that initial concept, again, we kind of threw all different channel alignments, access routes into the stream and figure out how we're gonna construct it. We originally identified almost 250 trees that needed to be removed. And obviously one of our goals of stream restoration is to restore the floodplain and have healthy trees. So it's this real balance, as we'll see in certain parts of this, there's homes that back up right to the stream itself. So most of the stream's on parkland, but some of it is on private residential lots. And it's key for us to work with those residents, not only to restore the stream buffer, but help protect their property as well. They're technically losing land. Their, their property's washing downstream just like we're losing land, land within this park that's ultimately washing downstream. And the last concept design 
reduce the tree impacts down to 150 trees. Now, the, the thing that was special about the community involvement is we actually worked with the Drainsville Supervisor Office. Supervisor Faust and his staff helped form Community Stream Team, our task force, that really helped us through the design. We not only walked up and down Dead Run, we took the task force out to look at existing stream restorations, one that were just re completed recently and ones that have been there several years. So we can see that even though there was tree impact, that we're seeing the trees grow back over time. Well, this is a storm drain outfall. It's one of about 30 outfalls within the drainage area to our stream restoration project. The runoff that comes from McLean, downtown McLean, the energy that comes out of this pipe is one of the things that causes stream bank erosion downstream. So our goal with the stream restoration project is to help offset that energy that comes out of this system and help dissipate it within the stream itself.